thinking involves students deliberately considering the future as they would prefer it to be from a range of possible futures. Identifying X problems that may prevent this future coming about and developing X solutions that may help to bring this future into being. A key point for students to understand is that there will always be more than one possible future and that they can influence the choice of which one occurs. Now this can help develop in students a desire for a just and sustainable planetary future and an understanding of the influences that humans can have on alternative futures. More specifically, students should develop the ability to differentiate between predictions as informed guesses about what might happen and probability as a specific chance of a prediction happening or not. Now students will likely be familiar with science fiction which often provides visions of future worlds but they may have difficulty telling the difference between such fiction and facts. Many new technologies were first introduced through science fiction well before becoming realities but that does not mean that they are all available now. And also unfortunately sometimes students consider fiction what are actual facts such as the moon landings. Now they also can have particular difficulties in understanding the current capabilities of computers, robots and artificial intelligence based on their experiences with science fiction. But building and programming their own robots and software can help students better understand the limitations and the potential of automation and computation. Now the next step after deciding on an X problem and forming a team is conducting an environmental scan of the problem that the students have chosen to address. Now, environmental scanning is just another word for researching the problem, making a list of data and information sources and finding out what is known about the problem, often from newspapers, books, the internet, friends, other students, teachers, their family, local community or experts in the problem. But going beyond just seeking opinions to gathering data to support what they find. Here students should come to understand the power of data in making decisions and how technology and digital technologies can assist us in doing that more efficiently. Identifying what data is already available about the problem but also where data is not available, the gaps in the data and how they can collect their own data on the problem. The data sources for the environmental scan should be as varied as possible as this develops a more complete understanding of the X problem and increasingly should involve access to digital data collections but also an appreciation that those digital data collections represent an advantage to society in sharing of data appropriately. But of course we also need to educate students when it's inappropriate to share data and the risk of privacy involved in the sharing of personal data. Now there are many collections of X problem categories and the data available to, around such problems. For young students such categories and data will prompt problems directly associated with themselves or their family and their friends. Overpopulation may relate to the crowding at a shopping centre and the risk of becoming lost, while health issues may relate to remembering to brush their teeth. But progressively, through 11 years of the digital technologies curriculum, students should increase the scale, scope and time frame of the problems and data that they engage with until they are exploring long-term global X problems, the solutions to which may benefit all of humanity.